Hi, my name is Elizabeth. Uh, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, so, uh, my trip, I'm leaving in a few days, which is very big news. Um, I haven't really been working on my uh, musical as often as I should, but is this camera tilted? Hold on. Is that better? I don't know. This might be a tilted video. Who knows? Um, yeah, so I'm leaving in a few days. <laughs> um, I haven't been working on my musical. I've said these things already. Um, and I'm just really excited. So I started making a packing list. Um, and it's in a very, like, I haven't finished it, but it's just a beginning. Um, yeah, it's really cool. Uh, I just wanted to talk about Lush. Um, not like the adjective, but the store, uh, like the cosmetics store. Oh my gosh, I've been obsessed with them. Um, I found this pot of um, angels on bare skin uh, in a bathroom or something. I don't remember how I found it, but I acquired it. And I was like, okay, well, someone might have used this, so I'm going to scrape off the top, and then I'm going to try it for myself. And I did, and oh my gosh, it is amazing. I love it. So I've been um, going to Lush. This is such pretty packaging. Um, uh, you know, I, I didn't really like bath bombs, like the whole idea behind it, until I actually tried one. Um... This is probably the most beauty guru haul type video that I'm going to make on this channel. But, okay. First of all, look at how cute. They have, like, specially, um, like, made little, uh, paper bags for the, um, for the bath bombs. I got Butterball. This is actually my second time getting it. It smells really... It smells nice, but when you put it in the bath, it's like, it makes you feel like butter. Maybe that's why it's called Butterball. Yeah, and I just love their whole campaign, the whole thing that they're doing. Um, like I said, I used Angels on Bare Skin that worked really well for my skin, but I wanted something coarser because if you've ever used it, you know that the lavender seeds, um, they get very, I don't want to say limp, they get soggy after a while, so... Like, it's not as much scrubby as it used to. Um, so I got Dark Angels. I love these pots, too. Oh my gosh, there's everything about everything about Lush I love. Um, it's a little expensive, yes, but everything's vegetarian or vegan, um, and it's all made with natural ingredients. That was a nice catch. Um, yeah, so I got Dark Angels. I really, I'm a big fan of charcoal. Um just even before using any Lush products, uh, I really enjoyed the feeling of charcoal. And this one has um, black sugar in it to give it that exfoliating scrubby feeling. So I'm really excited to use that. But besides that, I've only used three Lush products. I'm very excited and I want to use more. So maybe I'll make a video about that. Uh, I don't know. It's I, I do love it. And they gave me, they actually gave me, um, a few samples. I love, I love containers. Containers are one of my weaknesses. Um, even if I don't have a lot of things, I like to put things in containers. Um, so I have a sample of tea tree water, which is toner, and then, um, vanishing cream moisturizer. Vanishing cream is actually $44.00 on the website, so I was like, I don't think I'm gonna get this anytime soon. Maybe once I get back to my job. Ow, that hurt. Um, yeah, so I I love everything about Lush. The people are really nice. Um, and the, the uh, I don't, one of the uh, shop assistants, uh, I don't know what's, they call them the Lush employees. One of the Lush employees um, was that I work that I um, had the opportunity to meet while I was getting the free samples and crap. It was she was just so nice and everything was such a nice atmosphere. The first, the only thing is, um, I'm very sensitive to smell 
And once you go into a Lush store, it's just like scents everywhere. So it's a little disorienting at first, but I love it. Um, yeah. So if you want to use Lush, I'm pretty sure a majority of people use Lush. Um, or if they don't, they should. So yeah, I'm going to make another video for you guys. So I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye.